It's Wednesday, the geeks are here, and they've got a new dance. You know, yeah. So people have been bugging you, telling you you got to make up new moves? Yeah, now? yeah, yeah, your moves are getting tired. So I said, okay, well, well, ask the guy what we got to do. Uh, don't ask me. <laughs> anyway, before we get to the tech, I love that shirt. Surf well, Man is okay, taking okay. me to the ocean. Well, so Mana Up had their showcase, their summer showcase. Okay. And uh, one of the things that I was impressed about was a, a company called Western Aloha. They oh. take Western style shirts. I saw them on Facebook. And, yeah, and put them on, yeah. you know, put some uh, Aloha type of uh, designs on okay. them. And I thought it was pretty cool, so yeah. I Make, got one. Making yeah. a geek look cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's sorry, hard. That's sorry. Hard we'll start with Apple, right, right. this morning? Okay. So WWDC was last week. That's their developer conference, okay. and there were a bunch of things that they announced. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to fire hose anybody, but okay. you know, I want to go through some of the things. There's the iOS 13 that's going to come out. Oh some no! Of the things, not another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. iOS. On, <laughs> and what you can do, some of the features that okay. you can keyboard okay. swipe, which is instead of hitting the actual letters, okay. you can do things like dark mode. Everybody likes dark mode. Uh, and then you got emojis, and you can actually. Put like uh, okay, makeup so that, on them. So and, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. <laughs> Another one is <clears throat> the um, iPad is getting its own iOS. So okay. iPad is becoming much more like a laptop. Okay. So that's going to be pretty, pretty and that's, interesting. And that's, that'll make it easier for guys like me. Well, you know, I think a lot of people are deciding whether they get a laptop or an iPad. And then mm -hmm. right now, the iPad, since it's got a lot of processing power, yeah. it is a lot more uh, functional. And one of the cool things about the iPad OS is that you will get a fully functional web browser so instead of having a mobile version of a web mm -hmm. browser like uh, safari will be fully functional so you okay. can actually go to things like google docs and okay. do all your google docs okay. stuff all right and then you got uh, things like uh, mac os uh, catalina and the mac pro if you if you really are like hardcore right. you can spend like ten thousand dollars and up on the mac pro <laughs> my god now we also have some microsoft <clears throat> stuff too yeah so microsoft Power BI, so BI stands for Business Intelligence. Okay. So today you get so much information, right? Spreadsheets in the cloud, I have my Excel spreadsheets, even Facebook or uh, maps and things. But if you have to, uh, if you just throw that to you guys, it's like, what does all this information mean? So Power BI is a visualization tool. It lets you pull in multiple sources of information into a single dashboard that's interactive, that's live, that's visual. So all of a sudden now you can get insights and tell really a story based on all the data you have. And so, so it's, a, it's a free tool. You can get it for free online. Um, there's uh, services you can also get. And then part of it is Tableau, which is a competitor of theirs, just recently got acquired by Salesforce for nearly $16 billion. Jeez. It's an incredible tool, very powerful. But really nice thing is you don't need to know programming. Anyone, pretty much, Bert and I can yeah, do yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, so so, so, so the, you can in, do this yeah, too. So in the end, we're yeah. talking more user friendly. User yeah, friendly, with all that information more, more, you got consolidated. Yeah, and then you also can do it on mobile. Yeah. Okay, now coming up on the radio show. Well, do we have one more time? Yeah, one well, more, a more. Oh yeah, one more. Okay, well, okay. the last one I wanted to just say okay. is that uh, there's <clears throat> an announcement that Google is now putting a price to Stadia, and that's gonna be $130, you get a hardware package, plus $10 a month after that. There's gonna be a free version coming up in 2020, but in addition to that, they announced it right before E3. E3 is going on right now. Okay. And if anybody wants to watch E3, they can go to Twitch and watch E3. They, uh, one of the cool um, trailers was uh, Keanu Reeves in, it Reeves in um, Cyberpunk. Okay. So that's, that's kind of really popular. And then, um, so anyway, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going okay. on yeah. E3. Now, okay. for tonight's show, uh, we are actually featuring a web series uh, put on by a fellow that created a Waikiki Yoko Cho. So this is like a, oh. a food alley. Okay. They, there's a uh, I've been there. We've done cheap eats there. Yeah. So sure. you got you got uh, ramen Yoko Cho. Mm -hmm. You got mm -hmm. Osaka Yoko Cho yeah. and Waikiki. Yep, yep, yep. So we're gonna talk to him. All right. Right. All right the geeks. Cool. Thanks for coming. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guy. Here's the move, man. Here's the move. Here's the move. So that's the move. So I, <laughs> I feel a little bit smarter. I hope that helped you guys. <laughs> Mahalo for coming in. Outside right now, it is gorgeous. Geek or not, <laughs> look at that. You don't need to be a geek to enjoy that. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks, Ian. Thanks, Bert. <laughs>